So I'm joined today at Fever Radio uh, by Gail Arkell, Director of Client Experience at Step Change, an organization um, that's dedicated to helping people escape problem debt, not just an issue for individuals, but goes much further. It damages families and communities and costs in excess of £8 billion per year. By helping those in debt get back on their feet and campaigning for policies that aim to prevent problem debt, um, Step Change aims to overcome the difficulties that debt creates for our society in the 21st century. And according to Step Change's own website, their interventions have helped transform the lives of millions with support of their partners and stakeholders. Welcome to Fever Radio, Gail. Very glad Thank to you. have you join us today. Thank you for, for joining us. Thank um, you for having so, me. So could you just give us a bit of a feeling for um, who are Step Change? Yeah, so Step Change is a charitable debt advice organization. We are free and that's important. Uh, we are impartial, so we're not linked to other organizations and people can come to us for help with, um, you know, they're generally their debt problems or if they want support um, in terms of understanding their overall financial position. Okay, great. Um, and so what are the main causes of people falling into unmanageable debt situations today? Um, yeah. We hear sometimes the term the debt trap. Um, and of course, we are in a kind of unique economic situation at the moment post COVID, where we're carrying a lot of a lot of debt in the UK. I think I've just seen something that says that the UK national debt has gone over 100% of GDP for the first time um, since 1960. So it's not just individuals who are facing debt issues, it seems like the country as a whole. So could you give us a bit of a, an extra, a feeling for what is the debt trap and, and what's causing people to fall into unmanageable debt situations into yeah. 2023 today? Of course, yeah. So it used to be that people came to Step Change because they needed advice managing their sort of credit commitments and um, and, and that type of thing. Now, unfortunately, People come to step change because they just can't afford the cost of living. They oh. can't afford to meet their essential bills. The debt trap kind of is once you um, get into debt, then turning to other forms of credit, like high cost credit, for example, and then the debt spirals, basically. Um, and unfortunately, households are getting hit from every which angle. You know, the rising cost of living affect everything from mortgage payments, rental payments, food payments, um, you know, the energy bills soaring. It's it, the, everyone's getting hit from every angle, unfortunately. It's from every angle, isn't it? Really? Every angle. So we know from um, research that's recently been done by the Financial Conduct Authority that more than 10 million people are struggling to pay their bills um, and to meet their credit commitments. So we're an organization among a, a couple of other charitable organizations that support people in trying to understand their overall financial picture and importantly, what they can do to try and improve it. Okay. I mean, just briefly, I mean, how is the current um, economic environment exacerbating debt yeah. issues? I mean, you've, you mentioned you touched on a lot of areas there, but is there anything more that you yeah. can say? I mean, at the moment, particular areas of concern are obviously the energy crisis. So we've got low income families contacting us that simply cannot afford um, to meet their energy bills. So building up arrears um, and not able to pay them down. And so they need to continue with their energy consumption, for example, because you've got to keep on heating and you know lighting your house. But yet they've got this building debt sitting in the background. Now, you overlay that, obviously, with the rising costs of uh, food prices um, because of inflation. And people just can't afford to feed their families. They're having to make heartbreaking decisions about heating their house or feeding their family. And then you overlay on top of that the, um, the uh, increases to interest rates, which means that mortgages, people are coming off fixed rate mortgages and into unaffordable um, repayments on, on their mortgages because they can't get a low deal. And, um, and also renters as well. You know, the, the landlords are passing on that increased cost to people in, in rental accommodation as well. So um, it, it really is just spiralling out of control. Okay, well, hopefully, uh, hopefully things turn around uh, sooner rather than later for the economy. Um, we've been we've been waiting for that for some time. But um, how so? How are you at Step Change able to support those facing um, debt issues? What 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 is debt advice? 
Yeah, really good question, because actually a lot of people don't understand what debt advice is. Um, so first and foremost, most important thing to say is get help as soon as you can. The earlier you reach out for help, for debt advice um, and support, um, the more options you're likely to have available to you. Unfortunately, we know from our research that people are waiting more than a year past the point of crisis before coming forward. And that does then limit the options available. So get help early. Make sure you're getting debt advice from a free and impartial organization. You should never ever pay for debt advice. It is widely available uh, you know, and free to people. Um, and the final thing I just wanted to say before explaining a bit more about what debt advice is, is it doesn't affect your credit rating. So coming forward, and getting debt advice um, and support with your with managing your debts and your your rising cost of living does not impact your credit file at all. Um, so there's no there's no reason you shouldn't come forward. That shouldn't be a worry. In terms of what debt advice actually is, it's actually quite a simple process. And with organisations like Step Change, you can go onto our website, stepchange.org, and you can do it online yourself at your own pace. You can go through debt advice yourself, or you can speak to an advisor, or you can do a combination of the two. Ultimately, what we look at are your debts. So what, um, what money do you owe? Who do you owe it to? Are you in arrears um, in any of, with any of those debts? And what does that picture look like? And then we look at what your income is. Do you, what, what wages do you get? How often do you get them? Um, do you receive any benefits payments or any other kind of income? And then we look at what you need to spend on a day-to-day -day basis for yourself and your family, or if you have a family, um, to actually live, essentially. Um, it's a non-judgmental process. And ultimately, we call it building a budget. So at the end of the debt advice process, you will understand your complete financial picture and you'll know what the options are available to you as an individual based on your circumstances. Okay, great. Um, I mean, you, you mentioned uh, get help early um, before people yeah. reach the point of crisis. Um, so when should people be looking to contact step change? I mean, at what point um, when they re would they reach in their kind of debt journey, should they be looking for debt advice? Is there anything that they should be looking out for that, you know, at this point, I really need to be to be getting yeah. out? So it's not just actually step change, you're reaching out to the people you owe money to in general, I would say, as well as an organization like step change, you know, lenders, um, the creditors have done an awful lot um, to support people in recent years, more than ever before. So they have lots of treatments and uh, and plans available to support people. So I would say definitely reach out to anyone you owe money to and start a conversation with them. Hmm. And um, the point to reach out to step change is where you start to feel worried. If you are concerned that you are struggling, if you feel like you've got more money going out than you have coming in, if you're starting to miss payments or worried that you're about to miss payments, then you just reach out. Um, and we have um, trained specialist advisors, or as I say, you can go through the process yourself um, on our complete end-to-end um, -end online journey. Okay, great. And so where can people access support from Step Change? You mentioned that you can actually just go online on the website yep. and yep. Um, there, there's there's information. Do, do people have to come into a certain office if they want to meet with somebody or can that all be done remotely? How does it work? Yeah, so, so for Step Change, we find that people really want to engage with us either on the, on the phone, so telephony, or they want to go on the website and do it themselves. Debt is quite a personal journey. Um, there's a lot of, unfortunately, shame, associated with it and and there really doesn't need to be but unfortunately there is people are worried so um our online service tends to be the most popular actually because also when people start this process you've got to gather together the information about your debts you know the money you owe and that can take a bit of time and the great thing about you know a service like the step change website um and our debt advice tool is that you can just log in, putting the details as and when you've got them. And then if you get to the next part and you think, I don't have this to hand, you can go off and get that information and come back. Um, you can do the same process, obviously, on, um, on with a, an advisor, a trained advisor as well. And our online service is advisor back. So if you've got questions as you're going through it, you can ask questions, you know, if you get stuck at a particular part of the journey. Okay, great. And, and, and you know, as you say, there's there's no negative consequences for getting in no. touch. Um, there's no credit 
I mean, the thing that likely is going to affect your credit score is not being able to make payments rather than talking yeah. to people about the payments that you're struggling to make, right? So, And that's, a, that's the irony, actually, of the situation is in not dealing with your personal situation and trying to get some support, that actually has a much more detrimental impact than coming forward for um, for debt advice, which has zero impact um, in, in terms of your credit score and actually is more likely get to get you onto the road to recovery much quicker. Right. And and you sound like a very experienced bunch of, of guys. I mean, it says that you've helped millions, literally, um, yeah. with debt advice and, and kind of overcoming the debt issues. Yeah. So, um, I mean, that's a massive number, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Just... we we get um, you, between, it varies each year, but six to seven million people a year contact us through the website looking for some kind of support. You know, it's oh, really wow. high numbers. Um, yeah. Other organisations like Citizens Advice are another example, They and, and National uh, Deadline as well, they get high numbers. So we're the three sort of main charitable organisations um, doing national debt advice. Um, and yeah, we, we're dealing with very, very high numbers. Unfortunately, we're seeing a surge in demand for our services mm. because of the rising cost of living, because of the interest rates, um, you know, going up and inflation soaring. So um, it, it's definitely we're busier than ever. And that's not uh, not a good thing, unfortunately. OK. And so how um, if somebody's listening to this um, and feels that they might need to talk to somebody or want to get in touch or um, look for some support for the the debt problems that they're having. It's it's stepchange.org is is the website. Yeah. Um, what other contact details are there? Yep. So you can phone um, our our service. So that is 0800 138 1111 or you go to stepchange.org. You do need to be careful. Unfortunately, there are a number of impersonator firms out there who oh, yeah. are unfortunately trying to miss sell products to people try to make people feel like um there are certain solutions such as ivas which um, can generate a lot of income for lead generating companies so they copy the step change uh name and try to via social media and online try to imitate our service but yeah. stepchange.org is where you need to go um and, and just make sure that you're not um clicking through on things on social media in general um or or responding to adverts and things like that um because unfortunately that is likely to lead you down a revenue generating outcome from a lead generating firm as opposed to the right outcome for you okay great well, thank you so much for giving us a bit of a, a feel for what is um, available through Step Change and uh, what supports available out there for for people who are uh, um, in the debt trap or are worried about their their current debt situation. Um, is there any um, final thoughts that you have, um, or, or uh, any any other examples that you might be able to give for for our listeners regarding debt issues? Yeah. I mean, I think I think the most important thing is to really get a solid understanding of your picture. I think when we're in debt, um, we are inclined to put our heads in the sand and not think about, you know, don't open the letters. We took them under the doormat or whatever the, the cliche is, but we put it to one side and we don't really confront the situation and really look at actually what is the full picture. And whilst very, very scary, it's also the most empowering thing you can do for yourself is to really understand your personal situation. So I guess the key piece of advice from me is, you know, open the letters, understand where you're at. It might not be a great picture, but we can help. Um, but it starts with you and you need to take that that first bit of action and then contact a free debt advice organization who will be able to then take it on and help you further. Great stuff. So, you know, the message out there is you're not alone. Um, in fact, you're 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 in the company of millions yeah. of people here in the UK and the UK government, by the looks of it. So, um, you know, we're wanting to reduce stress as much as possible. Um, it's bad for your health, you know. So, get the support if you can. Start dealing with the problem early, um, and know that 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 you're not alone. I guess is the message that we have here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely not alone. All right, great. Gail Arkell, uh, Director of Client Experience at Step Change. Thank you so much for talking to us today um, at Fever Radio. Thank you.